Connell, Israel has acknowledged it was a series of mistakes they made that led to these seven aid workers being killed. The spokesperson for the IDF today, as they published their findings, saying that the officers who called this strike in were relying on bad information, wrong intel, and even with that intel, still made the wrong call to order the strike in the first place. Two of them have been demoted. We also heard from John Kirby today at the White House who says that the administration themselves are going over the findings that Israel put out. They're going to make their own determination based on whatever they find. Interestingly, the World Central Kitchen also responded. They said it was a step in the right direction that Israel acknowledged wrongdoing, but also not letting Israel off the hook either, saying in a statement here, quote, without systemic change, there will be more military failures, more apologies, and more grieving families. The root cause of the unjustified rocket fire on our convoy is the severe lack of food in Gaza. Israel needs more dramatically increase the volume of food and medicine traveling by land if it is serious about supporting humanitarian aid. Now, we know other aid organizations, Connell actually pulled out of Gaza after this happened. John Kirby today said he hopes more go back because it's important for them to not only get that aid to people in Gaza who need it, but he also calls on the Israeli government to work with them and make sure this doesn't happen again. Meantime, you've got the CIA director, Bill Burns. He's going to be traveling to Cairo this weekend, trying to jumpstart those peace conversations, hoping that it would lead to some kind of pause in fighting and potentially even a release of hostages. That is the big next step. We're going to see how that happens as Israel is still, by the way, planning a ground invasion into Rafah in northern Gaza. So all of that right now at stake, Connell, as the U.S. is trying to put a more permanent pause on this fighting. All right, Joe, Joe Khalil live in Washington for us, retired Lieutenant General.